Hey folks, RJ Helms here, back with some more Let's Play Open TTD. Uh, in the last episode, we extended a bunch of our bus systems. We uh, built a couple new towns uh, had to have bus connections, and also a bunch of the quick wins that were close to our existing main line, and some other routes we added to the bus system. Um, and thanks to an ill-considered bribe, we kind of spent all of our money on on that. So we've got a bit of a cash crunch once again, but we are pulling in lots and lots of money. And the first thing I want to do is we've got this train here in the station waiting to be replaced, so I want to get that guy done and taken care of. That will be one of the ABG to EDG ones. Yes, it is train number six, uh, number five here. Oh, I just need to time this just perfectly. There we go. Train five can get sold. Train 42 can get on the timetable. And that's taken care of. So let's take a look at what else we want to do this episode. Uh, if we look at our cargo flow legend, we can see there's a bunch of things that need more attention. Yeah, so last year we would have earned like 1.5 million pounds if it wasn't for the construction, so that's phenomenal. Uh, one thing I do want to see, there's a lot of vehicles that are piling up as old, and I don't know if they just haven't been replaced yet. I mean, because of the cash crunch, vehicles won't always get replaced right away. If I look at the remaining lifetime... Okay, so they are all... Perfect double-deckers. That's perfect. So they should get taken care of as time goes on. Um, especially once we get more and more money in the bank account. So I think the best thing to do would be that route that we talked about, potentially from DHF up through these towns and there to I'm zinging over here. Um, that might be a little bit tricky, but we can make it happen. I'm actually not 100% convinced I want the station to actually come all the way to DHF. Maybe the best thing to do would be to have it in Blisau here with a bus route connecting these two. Just that way I don't have to get too much insanity happening at this station itself. It's close enough that I think a bus link isn't the end of the world. Yeah, let's do it that way. So with our electrify railroads selected, let's put like a four-track railroad in at this end. Oh, and the local authority is mad at me already. Off to a good start. Okay, and let's place our other stations. And these are also going to be four track for the same double track reason. You've already got one, you can just connect to there. Um, and I'm not sure if I'm going to use the same platforms or build new ones, but we'll deal with that as and when the time comes. And over here I'll just close up this loop. For a four-track railroad on this side. Okay, and let's get building. So I'm going to pull back. I have enough room to build a pretty uh, tight turn. Let's do the three-tile radius. And that can come down enough, that won't be so terrible. I'm going to pull this back so I can jog just all at this level. Pull back one tile more. And that's that side.
just like that. And on this side, do a similar sort of thing. So I think what I'm going to want is another fairly tight turn and then up. I'm just going to just rejoin. Right here. Yeah, that looks like it works pretty well. Which raises the question of how this needs to join up. Alright, half trees off. Now let's start signaling this up just so I can get a sense of what the directions would be like. Might make it a bit easier to visualize how some of this is going to work. Up on this end. So this is going to be. If I was going to join them up, this one would have to join up with this track, and this one would have to join up with that track. This one's easy. That could just come out a bit and come down. Actually, I can do that really easily. We will do it this way. On this side, what I want to do is have this run straight for about five tiles and then jog over. And then this turn... Can be where this splits. And do something like that. And I want this to be a path signal as well for the split. On this side, what I want to do is have this come down. I have path signals on both tracks, so they can be where the track waits. I'm actually going to even rebuild this a bit further to make room for it. Like that. And the reason for that is so that I can have two bridges over this like so. And that can be a path signal. Actually, this is going to want to be on this side. Yeah, like that. And join this up with the same sort of jog. Extend those signals and one path signal here. Yeah, and that should work well enough. It's a little ugly, but it'll work well enough. And then I want to connect this up here. Same thing, build our row row, so being somewhat arbitrary with our choice of what direction we're coming in and out of. And this can come up. Make a nice wide turn. Maybe not that far away. 
make a nice wide turn here. And the other track can run parallel to it. Join up here with a to a fairly wide turn. Yeah, something like that. Which makes the next question how we're going to join this up to that. This one will actually be really easy. Oh, I probably had the right idea actually before with where I spaced them. But I'm not going to stress it. Okay, what if you joined up here? How long is that turn? That's five tiles, yeah, so that's fine. So you need to be a path signal. And this guy can pull out over this way. And then on this side, how am I gonna do this? I think I'll keep things parallel. One too many clicks. There we go. Yeah, and this will just bridge over. The exact same sort of way. And this can just come up to that. And finish up these signals. back. And then I think I just need to signal up this station. Okay, beautiful. So you will be BLS. You will be GBH. You already exist and you can be uh, EMS. And now let's get a train on this route. Go for the same turbo train. Up to five tiles in length, and we know what to do from here. So you are BLS to EMS. You get a train. And I'll keep this guy up. Now we need to put in our bus service. The authority here is mad at me again. Hopefully I can boost it just as quickly. Maybe not. 
come on. I guess I did do a lot of things to make it mad. Okay, so we'll put that one aside for the moment. What do you guys think of me? Atrocious as well. be tricky. Alright, poor. Can I get up to Mediocre? Ultimately, will you let me build stations? Yes, it will. So I think that'll start for this one. Good enough. So this is GBH Central. Passengers by capacity. We get this guy timetabling. See so our local GBH. Please join our local group. To keep that timetable up. This one already has local service, so next one is this one. What do you think of me? Atrocious as well. But because I haven't spammed this one with trees, it should be easily enough to improve. And same thing, this town, I think, can do with just. One station, so you are EMSC. Those timetables ready. Now over here we'll do a similar sort of thing. Put in our depot. Buy a double decker coach. Get it timetabling. make this group. So this group is local EMS. There you are. He will in our local group. And with the trains ready, we can put in this slack. And you can go away. We will want to keep an eye on NGH here to see if there's any huge problems coming out of sharing it. I don't really anticipate there will be, at least not in the short term. One thing we always could do if that became a problem was add another platform in each direction. Um, the only case we'd have to really reconsider the sharing platforms is with if the uh, bottlenecks actually became these um, splits. Splits and merges. So this guy's ready. So that's everything that we had to add here, with the exception of Blizzow. You still really don't like me. And then one thing we can do here. actually put in a tunnel under this track. So I keep this consistent with the grid here. So that when the time comes we can join up DHF and BLS by a bus.
but it might be a case where the only solution there is service. My local authority rating is mediocre, so I'm not really getting helped out too much there. So I think that'll just have to wait. We'll put a pin in that for now. Um, and let's get on some more capacity tweaks. So I just want to see if there's any bus routes that are absolutely screaming for more service. There's a couple. So VLF to RNK. You're still all on scenic cruisers, so let's put on... a maximum speed, a prime firewood. Or two. Let's do two. Uh, the VLFC local looks like it could use a bus. I don't know what. It's fine. I'm only looking for things that are actually terrible. So LSH to NKWC also looks like it could use one. Where is your depot? You're here, I think. Let's do two more on this route. This new route I just put in the HGH to FSK local. Could probably use another couple buses. I think there's only one here, right? Eh? Yeah. So let's make that three. Any of these guys in really rough shape? This one is already. So you were the local GBH route. I'll give you three more, actually. Nothing terrible here. Well, this one could use more. This town's gonna need a lot of improvements to his infrastructure. One thing I could do, um, I'm not going to do it today, but one thing I could do is actually just put in some grid lines and pull this out. And I'm going to want to connect this town, so I was thinking maybe one on this side running up there. But for now, local MLB, you have prime ironwoods. Yeah, you do. So let's just give you some more buses. Continue our quick little tour. Okay, GFG to DF DHFC. I also need some new buses. I'm not surprised by that. I'm going to manually buy a prime firewood and put it in that group. Oh, these guys I forgot to put in a group. What group are they supposed to be in? RNK to VLF. Okay, good thing I caught that because I could get confusing later. I'll give you. Two more on this line and get them started. And then this little loop here, the DHF local, needs some more vehicles as well. I almost just do two more here. You're fine. I don't really want to get into this town right now. It's a bit of a mess, so I'll set that one aside for another episode. All right, the PMW local could use some more vehicles. Got plenty of prime ironwood, so I'll give you two more as well. You're fine, you're fine, you're fine. This one, so S H S T E D G C. I think I could do with just one more vehicle for now. You a prime ironwood? 
Yes, you are. So I'm going to give this town also just one more. Dono Fort, which I think I just created the last episode. I'm going to give two more. You're fine, and you want... Maybe there's one more in this route. Oh, train four is waiting in the... Um, the depot over here, so it's ready to be replaced. So let's get you started. I've got all trains by remaining lifetime. I was wondering if any other vehicles and other routes are getting old, and they're not yet. The HGH to VLF will actually be the next one. Okay, Blue Sal, what do you think of me? You're still atrocious. Okay, let's look at Tauberheim as much as I don't really want to, because it's a little painful. So all of these local routes need some more vehicles. So first TBH. Dear Depot. I think you're this one. So give you two. Next is TBHT. You too as well. DBHW. Sure, also too. And finally, TBHV. Also go with two. Now let's look at these um, ring lines. I think I could use another train in each direction. So you are train twenty eight, so you are the clockwise route. Counterclockwise route, I don't think I can afford one just yet. There's more loan available to me, but no, these are still pretty expensive. Alright, so you can get started. And the counterclockwise route, let's just fast forward. Do we have the money? You need a new one as well. And let's put you on the line. Let's just take one last look at this to see if my local authority rating is increasing at all. Not that I'd necessarily be able to tell until it gets out of atrocious. It looks like it's not, um, but I think that is a good place to stop this episode. So we've got this line built from BLS to EMS. Let's see if that train is making any money. Um, not yet, but it should get there sooner or later. Um, obviously, once we increase the capacity onto these local lines and as the network kind of clears out and updates, we'll get there. So that's something we can look forward to in future episodes. Uh, until then, this has been Let's Play Open TTD. I've been RJ Helms. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any uh, any comments, leave them below. If you want to see more videos like this, like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time. Thanks so much.